And as you pass on the outside, okay, you have to look and you see the position of the person. Their feet are either going to be high, kind of like his are, maybe even higher, okay, or they're going to be low. If they're low, you may want to do potentially something different. But if they're typically right about here, okay, you need to jam their hips. A good way to do it is you push their knees right into their chest, okay? Because from here, as I go this way, I can rotate them fairly easy. And I want to go here. I don't want to fight to get into that little crevasse called side control. It's no point. If I want to really control the bottom person, I'm going to go to north south. I control them from both sides versus just from one side. So you're here, you're just going to cup right by where their patellas are, and I'm going to jam their knees in right here, okay? Because from here, I can walk out this way and rotate them. Like this. Tilt them and immediately go to north south knee. Very simple. Now, Big part of it is, okay, what partner I have? My partner's legs are gonna be dangling, so they're not gonna be replicating what actual open guard is. None of that matters, because then you're not doing the job. So you gotta be a good partner. Grandmaster Haley Gracie always said that how effective you're gonna be able to do the techniques, it all depends on how good your partner is to be able to create the mini tries realistic scenario here. So as I come in here, look, I'm already here. Instead of, when I go here, his elbows and knees are fairly together. So as I turn him this way, how hard is it gonna be for me to try to get in here and fight for this space? I don't want it. I wanna be here, jam, and turn, pull down, and right away to north south matrix. I'm controlled, look, let's explore. This is north south matrix here. Am I controlling him like inside control? No, because he's on the side. I want to be on the side, arms exposed. So I control would be holding one side, the near side, I would have a weak control on the far side. Here, I'm threatening the arm, I'm controlling him, I have gravity on my side. I have mobility on my side. I have a lot of torque on my side. I have a lot of leverage on my side. And I'm threatening his arm. And I'm isolating an arm just because of just the way it landed. Versus side control. So let's say I got here. <coughs> now I'm here. So in order for me to do anything, I have to lighten up my chest pressure to get my hands in a position where I can do something. What am I gonna do from here? I mean, in all reality. Am I gonna go for a key lock? That means that I'm gonna have to lighten this arm here, which it, it essentially enables him to move his hips out that way and immediately insert a knee. I'm already in an open guard, okay? All that work passed, I basically lost it. Most everybody's gonna teach you, oh, you go from Passing the guard, you go to side control. But I'm going to explain to you one thing. Passing guard is this. You pass the feet, the knees, the hips, the chest, and then you get to the head. That's passing guard. So if you think of it climbing a ladder, it's passing guard. That's what passing guard is. If you go into side control, you're still going to have to. Hip, chest, shoulder, head. You're still going to have to get there. Or I could be here, 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 right here. That's a good control right here. I don't care if it's not called side. It's a good control, okay? So all you're gonna do, walk up and jam their knees right here. You're gonna step left with the left foot and you're gonna push with the right and the left here. And then that one goes here, and down, hook that arm. I want this left hand looping through, right hand on the wrist, and I want you pushing down so there is pressure on their elbow forces them to really defend their top hand, their right hand. If he wants to roll to his back, I can torque it this way. If he wants to roll to his knees, I can torque it this way. If he really wants to roll to his knees, 
I will let him because here I really have a high likelihood of submitting him. Okay? So one last time. If your head's on the mat. No way. Not a good part. Not a good. No way. No way. That's Canadian. No good. Look. Look, I'm driving right into him. That's a much easier guard pass than fighting to separate the knee that I'm pushing towards his elbow. So if we talk about the triangular sphere, is what we did with the Bruce Lee. Do Bruce Lee? It's keeping that elbow and knee together. This knee's up. I gotta fight for that. You know what defeats the Bruce Lee? He's walking around in the north-south matrix. Look, I'm here, 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 look. Okay. That underhook, remember what we did on Wednesday? Okay. So you're gonna be stepping in. Look how I step in. With one leg, my right leg, and I'm driving forward. I'm not doing this. I can't apply pressure. Elbows in. Here, look. Simple. Fast to slow, slow to smooth, smooth to fast. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Please grab somebody on this side. 